All right, girlfriend, that's all you. Okay, I did send our cleanup hitter a message, but somebody may want to stay on that that prego, that prego brain. Um, anyone give me a coach disclaimer. So welcome, guys. We are so excited for you to join us and spend your Thursday evening or whatever time you're spending watching this recording with us, um, because. You know, this is something that is really near and dear to all of our hearts. And when Corey approached us about putting this call together, like my heart is fluttering right now. Like I got goosebumps because when I share later, I'll tell you, but she was such a huge inspiration in the beginning of my story. And she has absolutely nothing to do directly with me and my team. And I love that aspect here. We're all a family. We all support each other. And we're all in different parts of our journey um, when we start. But so I'm really excited to be here with all of these ladies. And before we start, I want to take a minute and say that today is World Mental Health Day, October 10th. And I want to take the second to say that and to recognize that what we do on a daily basis sharing our struggles, sharing the things that people don't talk about, the awkward conversations and the struggles that we have by, by bringing those to light, by raising awareness, like that's, that's what we do. That's what we do and that's so powerful. That, that's, that's the part of our job is to create awareness and to turn all of these struggles into strengths. But I will get into that, but I'm like, Nervous. I was, I had no life in me all day today, guys. I've had four doses of mom juice and I started talking and it all hit me at once. I feel like I need to do like burpees right now. I don't know what's happening. Seriously, 10 minutes ago, I was like a zombie, a zombie. That's what this business does to me. Like that's what this, seeing all of these faces, like talking about this. So how this impacted my life. I'm going to do this quick. I even made notes. I have to take you back to, and I'll go quickly. Um, when I was 18, actually when I was 17, my best friend was in a car accident. When I was 19, two and a half years later, he took his life. And so mental health is a big thing with me. It's a big part of my story. Um, and it was a really big part that broke me. And I spent the better part of a week in a psych ward and that's how I finished finals my freshman year of college and it did not get better for a long time. And then I found my husband and then I became a mom and suddenly I'm over a hundred pounds overweight and all of the depression and all of the anxiety. I'm also now recovered, but I was an active alcoholic at this time. And so there was a lot of guilt there. There was a lot of things that were wrong. And I had a new baby that I wanted to be a good example for. And I wanted, to be better and I didn't know how to do that because every way that I had ever learned or done, everything that I had ever done to lose weight was not a lifestyle. It wasn't anything that fixed anything. I always ended up in the same place and I knew I could not end up in this place again. Like I couldn't be here, there again. I, I just, it was, it was, it wasn't an option. So knowing that that was the hard that I was fighting against, was always in the back of my mind. And I share that with, with everyone because you just, you have to choose your heart. You know, it's hard to be where you are or it's hard to make the changes and move forward. So I started with the workouts at home through my sister, who is my coach. Um, and, you know, I, I had hesitations. I was like, I don't drink my food, but I was a new nursing mom and I could make a meal in a minute and drink it with one hand. And I was like, can I, how many meals can I have this for? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm sold, right? So um, it's been six years drinking Shakeology. Uh, but what really started my journey was when Beachbody released a program that had an overweight modifier because I had taken myself out of the game with a program that I was doing several times because the modifier had a six pack and I had just had a baby and she had just had a baby and I was still really, really stuck in that comparison mode and I, I just couldn't. I was telling myself that she could do it, I couldn't, I was worthless, like it was just, it was proving all of those things right and that's all that I was focusing on. So when I saw someone that looked somewhat like me 
which is why Corey's story inspired me so much because while I love my sister, you know, Beachbody, I think it, it fixed a lot of the stuff inside of her more than the outside of her when she started. And for me, I really needed the outside. I needed someone to inspire me for the outside journey. And Corey had come from a place that I could relate to. And it was so powerful to see that in the challenge groups, to see all the women who looked like me and were doing it. And I told my sister no about coaching. And then I quit my job. It was a toxic situation. And I knew that I needed to bring in an income and I didn't want to go back to work in an awful situation. And she had approached me again. And I told her simply, I'm no one to inspire someone. I'm still way too broken. I'm not where I need to be. I don't have results. And she said, but what did it for you? It was the person that you related to. It was the person who wasn't there yet. And that's when I started sharing. And so I went all in with coaching in 2015 and I call that my year of work. I got sober and I say that Beachbody is my AA because it is, it is support, it is accountability, it is positivity, and it is focusing on being a better person going forward because I didn't want to focus on the person who I used to be. I'm not proud of that person, but every day I am driven by guilt and gratitude equally. I am driven by the guilt of the person who I used to be and the gratitude for the life that I have now. And for better or worse, it makes me want to show up and be better. And coaching has helped me own that, like own that. Like I'm proud to be an alcoholic. And this is the third time that I've quit drinking in my life, guys. I have to tell you, you will fail. You will fail. But if you find the tools and the accountability and the support, you can do anything. But you have to have the confidence. You have to learn how to love yourself for who you are. This business, this opportunity, needing to lose 100 pounds, which I did, but needing that, that is what started this for me. But what, but what really turned me into a lifer, what really helped me find my passion and my purpose is that by doing the work every day on me, I got to a place where I live my life authentically. And 10 years ago, when I was stuck in the alcoholism and the depression and the anxiety, I was trying to be the world version that I thought that I should be because I was ashamed of who I was. And now that I am authentically me, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. Like, if you follow me, I have a podcast now. Like, I was a hot mess. And now I am using all of those things. I am all of the things that I hated about myself that I thought I would take to my grave. They're now my gifts. And your gifts are what is on the other side of your fears, of your failures. And that's what this business does. Like I, you saw the transformation pictures. You know you can lose weight. It's not about that. It's about changing the inside. Oh, like, oh, right? Can you feel it? If you want to be successful in this business, this is what I tell people. You need to become the best version of yourself and then get comfortable sharing that person because that person is uniquely you. And it's about time that you start using your God-given potential to be the person he created you to be. <sighs> Two years into that journey, I went into a windshield and I broke my neck. And if I had not done the work that I did before that, that accident would have done to me what it did to Kirk. I know what that fight can do. I know what life with pain is. Guys, I got injections in my back every month for three years. I took tramadol like it was candy and I'm a recovered alcoholic. It was hard, hard. But I pushed through and I found my way And giving that pain a purpose has changed everything because it no longer consumes me. It allows me to help other people and lift them up because, sorry, not sorry, shitty things are going to happen. Shitty things will happen in life, but if you can take those things and give them a power and a purpose to help others, it no longer controls you. It no longer holds you down. It no longer consumes you. And so that I think that's all I'm going to say. I went on to lose 111 pounds, although I don't think that matters. <laughs> um, I 
deal with anxiety, depression, chronic pain, and I'm a recovered alcoholic. And I share all of those things openly and honestly, thanks to, to coaching. And I've just, I also want to say that these people, like I, I owe them my life. I love them. They've loved, they loved me and believed in me before I believed in myself. And that's such a huge part of what we do. And I am even so, I think I'm tossing it to Heather. No. No. I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. So I'm going to toss you over to Heather, who I'm just going to say, because she's probably not going to say these things about herself, is the sweetest woman ever. Like, love her. She's always building other people up. And, you know, like, I wouldn't even know her. I wouldn't even know her. And I can't imagine my life without her, which I could say that about all of these girls, which is just so freaking cool about this community. So thanks so much for joining us, guys. Awesome. Melissa, thank you. Your story never, ever, ever gets old. Every single time I hear it, it's so incredibly powerful. I get goosebumps every time. And I'm just so grateful that you're in my life, you're in our lives, and you share so much and so authentically all the time. And it's just extremely powerful. And I, I, just, I thank you for being you. Um, so yes, I am Heather. For those of you guys that don't know me, um, I, I think so many of us have like such a bigger story um, than so many people realize. And I think that's what's so freaking cool about what we get to do is just like Melissa said, we get to use these broken parts of us, the things that we felt like we we're going to take to the grave, um, that we felt like we needed to hide forever in a closet. And we're actually able to use them to propel us to change our life and make it look completely different um, and then help other people in that mess. So um, I'm just wanted, gonna share a little bit about my backstory here without getting too choked up <laughs> and too deep. Um, but um, I'm not any, I'm not unique in saying that I grew up, um, you know, struggling um, I'm not unique in saying that, you know, I experienced abuse growing up, um, but I, I, it is such a part of my story, um, and it, it affected so much of my life that I do like to just explain that that has, that happened in, in the past, but you don't have to live there. You don't have to live with the fact that like something had happened to you or something did, um, maybe change the way that you thought your, your life was going to go or the path that you envisioned when you were a kid, but you have the tools um, to be able to change that direction. Um, so because of the way that I was raised young, um, I grew up with a very like poor self image. And um, when you're kind of raised that way as a kid, it really has a huge impact on how you are as an adult. So um, my self worth was very, very low. Um, that, you know, turned into all kinds of different eating disorders and all kinds of, you know, self abuse. Um, so that's kind of how I lived my life for the majority. And, um, it wasn't really until, um, I was an adult that I knew that I needed to get help because I had, I was starting a family and there was no way that I was going to have my kids feel the same way about themselves and about their bodies that I did with mine. Um, so for many, many years, I did all, I did all the bad things, you know, I mean, from when I was in even gosh, before I was even a teenager, um, following all the bad diets all the way through, you know, my young adulthood, I did everything. I did all the crazy things. I did all the um, things that everybody else did. I did everything. And guess what? <laughs> Nothing worked. <laughs> and um, so I went from being, you know, extremely um, thin and anorexic to what the doctor actually diagnosed me with as obese. And when I got that first like diagnosis, like it was like a shot to my heart, like the fact that I had actually created this thing that I feared so much um, because it was constantly on my mind and I was constantly thinking about it. You guys, you know, your thoughts become your things. So if you're thinking about something, if you're thinking that you are this way, you will absolutely create it because everything that you think about consistently is going to happen. So I actually created this life of something that I feared so much because that's all that consumed me. Um, so from going to, from, you know, that one extreme to the other, um, and then bringing kids into this world with this like jacked up headspace, I knew this was not the way that I was going to let my kids grow up. I was never going to let my kids think about the, the way that, that I thought about myself. So I had a huge drive to be able to fix this. 
Um, so it's like the craziest, weirdest thing how Beachbody even came into my life. Um, I was not looking for Beachbody, um, but I, I prayed and I just said, I need something um, that's going to be different. I've done everything, Lord. I need something different. And it's like the most random thing. I was going to cancel all of my social media accounts because social media just brought me down. Um, every time I was on Facebook or, or anything, I just felt cruddy after I got off. Um, so I was just about to cancel like everything that I had on any kind of social media. And somehow <laughs> um, I started following April. No idea who she was. I randomly just started following this girl on Instagram and she was so peppy and she was so positive and she was sharing her workouts, which I never really seen anybody do before. Um, but she shared her workouts that she did at home and she did, she showed up every single day. And so every single day I was like a total stalker. I was like, Oh my gosh, there's this girl and she's working out. I'm going to watch. Um, and I needed this motivation, but I didn't do any of it. I didn't do it. I never followed any of the workouts. I never did anything. I just sat there and watched her every day. Um, <laughs> super stalker. Um, but it just goes to show you that, um, when you feel something, when you, when you ask for help, um, whether that's for, whether that's God or whether whoever it is that you ask for, when you ask for help and you truly want it, it's going to show up and it's going to show up in those random things. For me, it showed up over social media. Um, so I started following, you know, April, a long story short, um, I joined one of our challenge groups. Um, I was super fearful because I quit everything I'd ever done ever in my life. That was like what I did. My MO was to start something and quit. Um, so I was, I was really afraid that I was going to quit on myself again. Um, but this is where things changed. I joined a challenge group and what happens in a challenge group? you have cheerleaders that are cheering you along every single day, every step of the way, and they will not let you give up. So I couldn't quit on myself. Like there were, there were girls in here that I had never experienced ever before in my life. Other women who I didn't even know were actually wanting me to succeed. What? <laughs> there were all these strangers in this group that actually wanted me to continue doing this. They actually like expected me to show up every day. And every time I did, they're like, wow, Heather, great job. I'm like, I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. <laughs> um, and that was the game changer. And that is the power that we have by sharing ourselves, by, by being in challenge groups, by sharing our lives, is we actually have the ability to be a cheerleader for somebody that we don't know. Um, and that is life changing. It completely changed everything for me to be able to have this kind of support system. Um, and I mean, ongoing from there, my life is completely completely turned around. Every single aspect that I can think of in my life right now is different. My marriage, my kids, my relationship with myself, my relationship with my friends, my relationship with the Lord, everything is different. And I, I truly owe it all to the fact that we have this community here and it is absolutely 100% life-changing and you have this gift too. Whether you're a coach, whether you're in a challenge group right now, whether you have no idea what it is that we're talking about, you still have this gift. You have the ability to change your life and then to change other people's life solely by making a decision to not continue in the path that may have been what you thought was chosen for you to choose something bigger. So that's what I have for you guys tonight. I just, um, I'm so glad that you guys are all here. I love seeing this entire screen is filled up with people. Um, so thank you guys so much for showing up and mwah! I'm not sure who's next after me. Rach, maybe. Well, that was incredible. Can I actually be really awkward first and get a picture of all this together? Now that this screen is full, I just want to take a picture of everyone. Can everyone, anyone who's hiding your face, if you can hop on, let's smile real quick. Ready? Oh, look at all these faces I see now. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. Hold on. Uh, everyone stay smiling because I have to go to the next screen. There's actually two screens. Hold on. Ready? Okay, you guys are awesome. Hi, friends. I am so excited to be here. I, just like Heather said, Melissa's story never gets old. It never gets old hearing anybody's story because I feel like there's a part of everybody's story that you can relate to on some level. Um, and that's the beauty in storytelling, right? Like, I love being able to put myself in somebody's shoes and there's little bit, bits and pieces. You know, I've known April and Melissa for a really long time. We worked at Texas Roadhouse together. We used to dance together um, at the Roadhouse while we were serving food. Um, April and I used to sneak to the back so that we could roll silverware and, and eat all the buns. If you guys 
have a Texas Roadhouse near you, you know what that bread is like. It's life. Um, so I, I went back a long ways with these girls, but never did I think that they would be like lifelong friends ever. So, um, April kind of came to me right before I got married and invited me to join an accountability group. And I wanted to be fit for for my wedding. I was never one of those people who was obese or overweight, but my mentality was so toxic. Um, My relationship with my own body was so toxic. I had suffered from eating disorders in the past and not one person in my entire life knew about it. Not one person, not my best friend, not my mom, not my sister, nobody ever knew. Um, and I was just, you know, stuck in that comparison game, stuck in all of this. So when, you know, she said something and I was like, yes, I need to get, you know, skinny for my wedding. I joined an accountability group and I failed because I had failed and quit on myself for every other, every other time I tried anything. Just like everyone else said, I've tried every unhealthy way to get healthy. I remember when I turned 18 being so excited to go to the store because I could actually purchase hydroxy cut. I'll never forget how embarrassed I was. Like running to the Kmart to be able to buy it whenever I wasn't with my mom so that nobody knew what I was doing. And you guys, I wasn't overweight. It was just, I thought that I was undeserving of love. I was in toxic relationships. I just had struggled so much. And it, it's, it was hard to even confide in anybody. Cause when I would talk to anybody about it, they would look at me and say, but you're skinny. Like, and you guys so much more than the exterior, the interior is so much harder to work on. Like I, I can't even tell you. So anyway, so I quit. Um, and then I, you know, my husband and I got married, I got pregnant on my honeymoon and I just had this beautiful blessing. Um, and I hated myself afterwards. I was left postpartum with this body that I didn't recognize. And it made all those self-hate feelings that I had for myself skyrocket. And I remember sitting there asking myself, like, am I going to go back to what I was? Am I going to really struggle with an eating disorder? Am I really going to start binge eating and doing all these things that I used to do when I have this beautiful miracle that is depending on me to be an, an amazing example for him, you know? Um, and that was kind of my rock bottom. Like I just had to say, like, sometimes you don't love yourself enough to do something for yourself, but I guarantee you, you can find somebody else who's worth fighting for until you fall in love with yourself. And that's exactly what I did. I looked at my son and I said, you are worth it. Like you are worth showing up for, you're worth doing this. So, um, I actually can't remember if April messaged me or if I messaged her because I might've messaged her. I was, like following her, stalking her like crazy. I had fallen in love with her life, with her happiness. And that, and that's the thing. Like she, yes, she was able to do all these incredible things and quit her jobs and retire her husband and all those things, which for me, I'm very financially driven was amazing. But I also saw the joy that was literally like exuding her when she showed up every single day. And that's what I fell in love with. I wanted that. I wanted to have that confidence. So this time it was different because when I signed up as a coach, I signed up and I had that extra accountability on my shoulders. People were depending on me to show up. When I announced that I was going to be there to support other people, you bet I was going to show up. And if I couldn't show up for myself or maybe even my son, I was going to show up for those other ladies who depended on me to show up every single day. So in the process, we started doing personal development and that's an incredible thing. You guys, I can never say enough about this company because one of the things that I fall in love with is still to this day, when I have meetings with my corporate mentor, it is never a numbers game. It is what are you doing to be the best version of yourself? What are you doing to grow into the leader that you need to be because you're happy or this is making, you know, you have good experiences in life. Like it's always about you. Um, And that's what I love. So I started doing personal development. I remember when somebody first said it to me, I was like, I am not a crazy person. I don't need self-help books. And you guys, it literally changed my life, like changed my life. My husband does personal development. I do personal development. Um, I fell in love with this community. I felt started falling in love with myself. I've been in this business for three years and the past year, I still like have it written on a poster back behind my computer is just that I I really wanted to focus on self-love and it has been such an amazing journey. Um, but I have found so much through this community. I have found friendships um, that I could have never imagined. Heather and I are seriously like family and I've never, I never would have met her if it wasn't for this community. Like you will meet people that you will literally, like they will become 
family that you never knew was there. Um, like I said, I gained a, a version of self-love that I had never thought possible. Like I'm confident in myself. I, um, you know, opened myself up to faith, like so many different things like that have just kind of been a, a long process coming, but has kind of been this ripple effect that has created something beautiful for not only, you know, April, but look at all the lives that she's touched and the lives that we're able to touch because of this. And that's what it is. It is a ripple effect. And I always tell other moms, I'm like, how amazing is it that our job is just to be the best version of ourselves and to be able to set that amazing example for our children and for their children's children, like to be able to help put health in families' lives and to be able to save people. You know, I worked full time, um, rotating shifts at a hospital. And I remember being at the hospital, I'll never forget. And it was a Saturday morning and my husband sent me a text message and it was my, it was my son, Alex. He was taking his first steps and I wasn't there. I was at the hospital and I, I sat there and I just, my eyes wailed in tears. And I just kept telling myself like, there has to be more than this. Like I longed to be that present parent and you guys, like, obviously no form of income is ever guaranteed, but I was able to quit my full-time job and this gave me the presence. And that's not everybody's wish, but it was always my wish to be that present parent. Now I have two beautiful babies and I get to build a business simultaneously while leading by example and focusing on self-love and teaching my daughter self-love every single day. And this has literally been the biggest blessing in my entire life. So so grateful for this. I'm so happy you guys all hopped on. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys more often. I think I'm passing it on to April. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone can be a coach. <laughs> I say this at least five times a day. Also, look, it looks like I'm a glamour shot, but really, I just, it looks better this way than it does up because I haven't brushed my hair in a really long time. So reason number seven million why anyone can be a coach. <laughs> um, what I was saying, muted, was how freaking cool is it to like sit here and listen to people that you look up to, that you like admire and are so, such an inspiration to you and to hear where they started and to hear that they are just like you and that they have these same struggles and the very same things um, that you're going through. And it's, you know, sometimes we just put people on a pedestal because we think like, oh, I could never do that or I could never be there. But to really hear the story and the emotion and know that if they can do it, you can do it, I think is so cool. And it's just for my mama bear heart to hear that the knowing, um, exactly where they were when they started and seeing them now as, as like just how full of life and happy and confident and how they are you know the ripple effect which you'll hear us talking about so much um is just in such full effect that because they believed in themselves enough to say yes or they said yes before they even believed in themselves and to see what they have done and by them saying yes how many lives have been changed. And I just, that's my favorite part of this business is that, and that's what I tell people when people aren't sure if they want to do it. I'm like, look, I didn't know if I, I would be good at it. I didn't know if I wanted to do it either. But the thing is, if I never said yes, I can literally see hundreds of lives that may not have been changed because of my decision. And so I like to tell people that are, that are thinking about it because What's one thing that people really want to do? They want to inspire people. They want to motivate people. They want to make people feel better. Um, generally, humans in general want to do that. And so you get to tell people, you know, especially when people give you the, um, I could never be a coach because I love using my sister as an example. Like, look at that girl on the left. She started coaching then. You don't, you may not think of that, like, look at her and say, oh, she's a coach, uh, you know, and, and, um, you know, Corey's story as well. Like this person decided to do it before they were ready. And because of that, oh, it's time for bed. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have an alarm to tell me. <laughs> um, and because of that, look what they've done. So I just, I just, I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, okay. So my story is I was one of those weirdos that um, found my coach on Instagram and she posted about the business opportunity. So I was one of those weirdos that, um, and I can say that weirdo because I am a weirdo, 
but she posted about the business opportunity. She was like, are you sick of your job? Are you sick of your boss? Is your boss a jerk? And Corey and I have the same upline. So we're like sister coaches. Um, and so I was like, yes to all of the above. And I, you know, just what I found out, she sent me an hour long book webinar, watched it all, signed up that day, put it on the credit card. Cause guys, I had $7 in my bank account and <laughs> put it on the credit card. I'm in charge of finances. My husband doesn't understand. He, I just let him think we're broke at any given time. So he works hard. Um, <laughs> and so I put it on the credit card and I felt so guilty about it. I remember being like, Oh my gosh, it was $180 for what at the time you would just buy one program and Shakeology. So for one program, Shakeology paid $180. Now they get every single freaking program out there plus Shakeology for $160, do not feel bad about that because I, that's just like, it blows my mind how much value they get. Side note, sorry. So I signed up that day and I didn't have a ton of weight to lose because I previously had lost about 30 pounds because I, I gained a ton of weight in grad school. Um, but I was very, and I was trying, I was actually blogging before my coach found me. I was blogging on my own. I went to school for clinical exercise physiology. I was working at corporate wellness so I was blogging, I would share my recipes. I was a big runner, I was a marathon runner at the time, but I did not, um, I did not do anything Beachbody. I remember I bought um, Turbo Jam with the free payments of 1999 for myself for my birthday in college, um, but that was the only experience I had with Beachbody. And so I started, I did it, I did it alongside with my running. I still went to the gym, I was still a gym rat. It was a, it took me about a year to really dive in and commit to a beach body program and not be like, okay, I'll do this three days, I'll do this. And I really saw a huge change when I really committed and went all in. Um, not to say that you need to do that, but for me personally, that's why I am so dedicated to my beach body workouts is because I've seen how my business works when I kind of do them. And I've seen how my business works when I 100% do them because it's being a product of the product. And it's something I love. And it's, you know, I went to school and I used to personal train and I used to teach fitness classes. I could do that for myself, but I don't want to. I want somebody to tell me what to do. And that's the beauty of it. So um, I was really trying to work on my mentality because I had just dealt with a lot of depression and anxiety. And I remember before coaching, it was Matt's birthday and we never really did presents we did, I would, we would just do like a dinner and like a movie together. And so, and make a dinner and watch a movie at home. Cause we were super broke <laughs> and I, his br brisket is his favorite type of meat. And I was literally in the Publix meat section crying because I could not afford to buy a brisket and potatoes and this and that to make his dinner. And that was like the turning point before I even knew about coaching, but I was like, something has to freaking give. I cannot with a master's degree work three jobs I've worked my butt off for and have nothing to show for it. I would leave at five in the morning and he was sleeping and he was a restaurant manager and he would um, be, I, I would be sleeping by the time he got home. So we literally never saw each other. So when this came into my life, I never looked back. I um, finally understood when 21 day fix, the nutrition plan came out that was such a game changer for me because I kind of understood like, okay, I'm going to eat clean, but it would be like oatmeal for breakfast and quinoa for lunch and sweet potatoes. Da, 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 da. So I was just eating a ton of clean carbs <laughs> all the time. And that was really the game changer for me. It came out um, right before my wedding and I was so ecstatic. I got such great results from that. And I just was such a believer ever since. 2B Mindset came out. I had great results from that meal plan as well. I just love that every single time this company comes out with something else, I fall more and more in love with it. And that's why I feel so good. It's not only do I get to change lives, but I get to provide these tools that have personally helped me and so many people I love and care about to people. So it's not like I'm not doing this like, oh, you got to buy this shirt. It's great, girl. It's like this freaking changed my life. And take a look at my sister. She's down a hundred pounds. Do you want to give it a go? Like I always, and Melissa's like my spokesperson. I always send a picture of um, <laughs> Melissa when I want um, to seal the deal to people. But um, to say that it changed my life is just such an understatement. I was able to quit. Um, I literally drove around in my car with a pillow in my car <laughs> because if I had a 10 minute break, I would either be sending messages for my business or taking a nap so I didn't fall asleep on the drive home. And I, every single meal I ate was cold in a Tupperware because I packed my lunches because I didn't have um, 
time or money to go out to eat. So I literally ate cold food for like three straight years. <laughs> I can't eat fish anymore because I tried to do that cold for far too long. It was a terrible idea. Don't do that. Um, and, you know, I just, I just slowly was able to quit that third job, quit that second job. And then I went part-time and that was like so crazy to me because we did not have the money to go part-time when I did it. And I remember sitting down with Matt and being like, okay, uh, not only what did I go part-time, but I had to take a $4 an hour pay cut to do it. Cause I literally had to switch positions and being broke as a joke, $4 an hour is a huge, huge, huge thing. So I literally had to change positions, take that huge pay cut. And I looked at Matt and I said, I don't know how we're going to do this. And he, he just said, you know, if I know you and I know that you're going to find a way to make it work. And if this is what you need to do, then do it. And just having his support, like in saying like, go do it was like the fire. Like I needed to just be like, okay, I'm going to make this work, but I'm not just going to go part time. I'm going to be very like, okay. So I went from 40 hours to 20 hours, but those 20 hours I worked and <laughs> I took my phone and my, or my computer everywhere. We were in the car and I was using the hotspot before you can even use the hotspot on your phone. I literally had like a device that I could use and I would be like, we'd go to my grandma's house or his grandma's house. And I'd be like, there, like, uh huh, that's a great story. Let me check in with my challenges. Let me send these new messages. I was freaking hustling all the freaking time. And, um, a week before my 28th birthday, uh, I was able to just under two years of business I was able to quit all of my jobs and go full time. And the first paycheck I got was one of, you know, the, the lowest paychecks and, um, that was what lit my fire. And from there I was able to see such growth because I just went all in and it, it helped me as a person. So I know that we're supposed to be talking about our story and I always come back to coaching because coaching is such a big part of my story. Um, so I didn't have a huge weight loss that I needed to, to reach, but I had a hole in my heart <laughs> that I needed and coaching and this community and this everything has just helped me financially, spiritually. I literally found Jesus through coaching and you can roll your eyes, you can say whatever, but I hadn't been to church um, in like years and years. There was just a dark hole and I kind of felt like, you know, okay, well, I just haven't been chosen and I'm just not, you know, it's just not for me. And, um, you know, I had a coaching, I had a coaching family that was spiritual and I would lean on, on them. And literally it was like my coaching family that brought me back to church, that brought me back to having this, <laughs> having this in, you know, my life. And so, you know, financially, I went from $7 in my bank account to creating a six figure income, income, inserts, income disclaimer, beach body does not guarantee any level of success. Um, you have to work for it. But, um, I went from hating myself and still having an on and off again, eating disorder, um, even after I had lost the weight, if I had a bad day, I ate too much, I would go and make myself throw up even to like, literally like, and nobody knew about it. People knew I had the eating disorder in college, but it doesn't always go away. It took this and working on myself internally to make it officially, you know, go away. Um, I was so negative. I was so judgmental. I had, I was a big marathoner, like I said, and I couldn't even be happy for people, you know, if they had a better time for me, there were so many things messed up inside of me that this, the personal development, the community, this, everything has just changed everything for me. So I apologize because this was kind of a little bit of everywhere, but between coaching, between the products, between the accountability, I just honestly don't know where I'd be without this because now I get to be home. I've got a almost three year old. She's got to be three. Um, I've got another baby on the way and I get to be home with them and, you know, working around my time and my schedule. And, um, you know, I just, I didn't even know if I could have kids before Beachbody because I, the way that we are gone, okay, I'm not, a, I'm not going to be able to afford a nanny. I can barely afford to live. So literally we didn't even know if we wanted kids. So to say that it's changed my life is just like not even an option. It's so crazy how different our life is now. Um, because of saying yes before, be, even when I thought, you know, I don't know if this is for me or not, but let's do it. So, um, that was so random. I apologize, <laughs> but if you know me, you're not, you're not, you're used to that. So, um, I'm going to send it off to Corey and she's going to close us out. And she has such, um, an amazing story and she actually put this call together. So thank you so much, Corey, for, you know, putting this all together 
making it happen. And this recording is going to be so great to share with people. Um, I don't know a ton about her story. I'll let her tell you, but if you see her transformation, it's like 60 some pounds. She's got two boys is like ripped as heck and absolutely amazing. And um, I'll just let you tell your story. So. <laughs> oh, you are too sweet. Thank you very, very much. And not just me, like we, this was like a collective thing that we kind of said, let's like put a call together and share our stories and create that ripple effect. I love how um, Rachel brought that up because that's in a book that I'm reading right now. And that's kind of been my focus that we have the power to impact so many lives by just sending a smile to someone, or I hope you have a good day or just being there as a friend. So I love every single one of you. I appreciate all of you. Kudos to everyone who jumped on this call. I know that a couple of girls I spoke with were like, I don't know if I want to get on. I'm kind of nervous. This is a step outside of your comfort zone and you should be so proud of yourself that you are here because it takes courage to be here too. So we appreciate you and we appreciate you um, taking the time to be with us and letting us share our story with you. Um, so, um, I'm going to actually talk a little bit about how my journey started. Um, like April said, I've shed over 60 pounds. It's really close to 70 pounds. Um, and my journey started, well, if we go back a little bit, um, I started doing like the yo-yo diet and kind of starving myself and really comparing myself to everyone around me back in high school. And I really struggled with self-confidence and who I was as a person, um, and then that kind of followed me through college. Um, I put on a, lo a lot of weight in college. My husband and I were dating uh, before we got married. I took off some weight by just running on a treadmill and kind of watching what I was eating because I wanted to feel good on my wedding day. But I hit my lowest point after we had our first son. He was about 18 months old. And I can remember sitting on the couch, looking at him playing on the floor by himself. And I was just watching like judge Judy or something ridiculous. No, no judgment if you watch it because I watched it like all the time. Um, but I, I wasn't doing anything right. Like I would go to work and then I would come home and I would sit on the couch and do nothing and eat food. And I wanted better for myself, but I wanted better for him. Right. I wanted to be present. I wanted to be active in his life. So, um, like April said, we have the same upline. She actually, her boyfriend played hockey with my husband. So we kind of, um, connected that way. And I knew that she was a beach body coach and she had kind of talked to me about, um, getting into a challenge group. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I wasn't ready. Like I wasn't hearing her because I had tried everything and failed. Like nothing ever stuck and nothing ever changed the way that I lived my life. So I went to her and I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Um, and the challenge group was the game changer for me, the challenge group and having that love and support. Like I put in the chat at the beginning, weird women supporting one another. It's really sad that that's weird in this community, in this circle it's not weird. That is the norm. So just know that, that that is the norm that we love and celebrate one another. We don't cut each other down. Okay. But in society, that's the easy thing to do, right? Oh, she's better than me or I'm better than her. And you're constantly comparing and judging. And it's just this vicious circle. And so that was something new for me because I honestly, watch things like judge Judy and was a very judgmental person. I, I play the comparison game a lot and that left me in a really negative place. So when I got into this challenge group and I was being loved and supported and cheered on by all these other women, it was a totally different scene for me, but it was really, really cool. And so it encouraged me to keep going because it's hard, you guys. It's hard to be the person who stays disciplined at a family cookout. It's hard to be the person who gets herself out of bed every morning. It's hard to be that person who chooses to buy the healthier foods at the grocery store and make time to meal prep than to just grab the super easy frozen meals and throw them in the oven. But it's also hard to live a life super unhappy and sitting on a couch 
looking at your baby, playing by himself, and being unhappy. So we have to choose our hard. And for me, everything changed when I became a coach. The challenge group was that first step of building that belief, right? The, the challenge group, Melissa, stop it because you're making me tear up. <laughs> the challenge group was the first step of me building belief in myself that there was something other than the comparison game and there was something other than judging others and that you really could live life with joy and happiness. Um, and so I took a leap of faith on coaching. I had no idea if I could be successful. I really didn't want to be a salesperson or push product. I just wanted to keep working on me because it was feeling really freaking good to finally build belief in myself, to build that confidence within me. Yes, I shed a ton of weight and I felt really good about that, but it was more about the, the internal change, right? It was more about the confidence and the belief that I built in myself and, um, when I became a coach, it became my mission, much like these girls, to become that ripple effect. Life is hard. We all have crazy challenges at times. My girls know that this, and if you follow me, you know that this past year has been incredibly challenging for my family. Incredibly challenging. My mom was diagnosed with cancer. Once she got through it, my dad was diagnosed with cancer and had horrific treatment. Once my dad was finally cleared and was starting to heal, my mom was hurt really, really bad by one of our horses and was put in the hospital and broke her arm. And like, it just was like this, not, it's like, what, could you throw one more thing at me right now? You know, like we've all been there, right? We've all felt the weight of the world on our shoulders. And if I would have still been that girl who was sitting on the couch, looking at her baby in that negative place. I don't know that I would have made it through that time, you know, but because I've learned to lean in and lean on my girls who are here because I've learned to focus on the positives. My parents are still here, you know, they're still here and they fought their asses off and they're healthy. So the fact that we can find the silver lining in hard situations um, is what it's about. And it's letting you guys know that you have the power in you. Everything that you need to create the life that you wanna live, whether it's losing weight or building more confidence or having more joy, having more freedom, whatever you want in life, you are capable of achieving. And the person that you're maybe not happy with when you look in the mirror, that's the person who's going to get you there. So love her and uplift her and use her to lean in and freaking live your life. You have everything that it takes. I think that's all I have, girls. I so appreciate everyone for being on this call. You all are amazing. If you have any questions, um, I'll if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us, um, to the coach who invited you to this call. We are absolutely here to answer any questions you may have or to help maybe take that first step, whether it's a challenge group or it's with coaching, whatever that next step looks like for you, we are all here to help do this together, right? We are all linking arms. Nobody is doing this alone. We are all here to do this together and to help create more health and happiness in the world. So we love you all. Thank you to Heather, Rachel, Melissa, and April. You guys are amazing. Um, that's, it. We, that's all we have for tonight. So have a great night, you guys.